Hi, I'm Joseph Piper of Granite Trademark Services, and I'm here today to talk about trademark oppositions. During the trademark application process, the examining attorney, if they approve of the application, will publish it for opposition. Now, what this means is that the application will be published in the official gazette, and any third party who believes that they will be harmed if the application is registered as a federal trademark can file an opposition to prevent that from happening. They will have 30 days from when it's published in the Gazette to file their trademark opposition. And where you file a trademark opposition is at the Trademark Trial and Appeal Board and not with the examining attorney, him or herself. The TTAB litigates and decides the cases and the TTAB functions as an independent court within the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So it's very similar to a civil case in a regular district court. Um, there's judges, you will produce evidence, you'll explain your argument, the other side will be able to respond to the argument with their own evidence, and that is generally how opposition proceedings work. Now, any party can oppose it if they believe they'll be harmed, and the most likely reason they think that an opposition will be filed is that there's a likelihood of confusion issue. Basically what that means is that the party opposing the application will say, if that application becomes a federal registration, it will harm me because it's likely to confuse consumers with my previously registered trademark or rights that I have in a trademark based on common law. There are other reasons why a third party can oppose a trademark, such as the trademark is descriptive of the goods or services or even generic of the goods or services. It's primarily a geographic indicator, primarily a last name, and a few others. But it is important to remember that anyone who files the opposition for any reason, including the, the other ones, has to show that the registration will harm them personally. If you have any questions about the opposition period or oppositions in general, please contact us at Granite Trademark Services and we'll be glad to help. Thanks.